Choices. Every day, I've got to make choices. Okay? Choices. As believers, we need to make choices. Okay, now I'm going to challenge you. As if I haven't stepped on your toes yet. Okay? My goal. My goal is not to have you walk out of this thing. I really enjoyed your message. <laughs> if you say, I really enjoyed your message, I'm like, oh, rats. You didn't do a very good job. Okay? It's to try to step on your toes. So, Ethan. You and your dad. Come on up, buddy. Ethan's my go-to guy. Here's, here's the challenge. Here's what I saw happening in Africa and what I see happening in America. Get on this side of me. Dad, you're right over here. Dad is a gifted evangelist. Okay? Are you an evangelist? Don't ruin the talk. Sure. Okay. That's what I thought. He's a gifted evangelist, and he wants to start a church. And he goes out, and he reaches 100 people. Whoa, that's amazing. 100 people in one year. Now, Pedro here, okay, he says, you know what? I'm just going to focus on two key guys. Just, it's just got to, you can see it backwards behind there, see? You don't do that. And so he's, he's just got two key guys he's pouring his life into. All right? This guy... Uh-oh, 100 people, they're not going to fit in my house. So what do you have to do? Build a building. Build a building. Guess what you need? Builders. Money. Builders. Money. Yeah, so you've got this headache. You've got to build a building. You got to, Once you get the building, you need? And you need? Sound system. And you need all these other things. So, you know, how's your marriage doing? Not as good as it could be. Not as good as it could be because you're so busy trying to <coughs> develop it. How's your marriage doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's got plenty of time to go play video games or do whatever he's going to do, but he still keeps meeting with his two guys on a regular basis. Well, year two comes along. He's still pressing on. He's got 200 people. And his, his son there only has four because he told those two guys to go out and get their own two. So he's just focused on two, but each one of his two guys went out and got two, so now it's up to four. And so dad is like, son, you really need to follow my example. You know, you need to, you need to, maybe I'll have you come over and hire you as our worship leader. You can just join us and, you know, it'll really get better. Because he went out and got another hundred. Well, he's only up to eight. Three hundred to eight. Who's winning? Pedro. <laughs> So 300, year four, he's got 400. Getting more headaches because he's got to raise more money. He's got to now, he's got two services. And so he's got to, you know, the worship team's got to practice all this time. And they're practicing twice. I'm not really too happy practicing twice for all this stuff. And, uh, but he's, you know, he's pressing on and, and he's got 16. But he's only focused on how many? Two. two. And those two are focused on their two and there's two are focused on their two. And, and so they're up to 16. Well, he goes up to 500 people. He's at 32. 532. This guy's really kicking his son's butt. 600. 64. 700. 128. 800. 256. 900. 512? Year 10, he's got a thousand people in his church. Ethan has 1,024. <laughs> Year 11, he's got 1,100. He's got 2,048 in the people that he's discipling. Year 12, he's got 1,200. He's got 4,096, five or six, one of the two, six. We skip on down to year 25 or 26. He's got 2,600, the biggest church in, where am I? What's the city? Oakland. Oakland. He's got the biggest church in Oakland. He's got 67 million. What do you say to dad? 
Take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> he has reached the entire country of Kenya. And he's got 3,600. Or no, 2,600. Well, guess what happens in year 33? He's got 3,300 people. He's reached 12 billion. The entire planet in 35 years, 33 years. Men and women, we used, I used to ask this question. Are you making disciples? But I found out it's the wrong question to ask. What I ask now is this. Are you making disciples who are making disciples? Are you making disciples who are making disciples? I'm ashamed to say at 65 years of age, I'm just catching on to this. But I've got my two disciples in Kenya. I pour my life in them on a regular basis via Zoom and by traveling over there. They've now gone to Zambia, Zimbabwe, they're now in Burundi. They're starting to open up new countries. And I've got two guys in the United States I'm pouring my life into. But by this time, I could have reached the world. Had I just focused on two people. Here's my challenge to you. Who are your two disciples? <coughs> Who are your two disciples? Who are your two disciples? Oh, I run sound. I'm doing my thing. Uh-uh. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. Who are your two disciples? Young people. How old are you, young man? Yeah, no behind you. Yeah, how old are you? In the black, sitting behind you. Fourteen. You can get 12 year olds and you can start discipling them. How old are you, young lady? 15. You can get 13 year olds, 12 year olds. You can start discipling them. This is not something you do once you've been to seminary, once you've been to Bible school, once you, oh, I feel pretty good now. No, you start with the little that you know and you start pouring in. And I have found out that the more you teach, the more you learn. This is why I believe our Lord told us go therefore and make. Disciples, Because when you start discipling people, you start learning. Attending church, being in Sunday school, it's all great. It's good. It's healthy. But I want to challenge you. It falls short of finding your two disciples. That's my challenge to you today. Who are your two disciples? Who are you pouring your life into? Don't try to, for those of us with gray hair, I have no hair, but gray hair. Don't say, I'm just going to slide out the end of my life. I'm just going to be on coast and just get out of here, die, and I'll go be with Jesus. You've got so much to offer. Find some of these younger men and pour your life into them. He's already going to church. Hey, he's in the band. I don't care. Spend one-on-one -on -one time. What can I, how can I help you with your marriage? How can I help you with parenting? Little brats who don't want to open notes. And what do you do when this happens? Okay, here's what I did. Here's what, you know, and pour your life into them. And then you go get the 14-year-olds. And you pour yourself into them. Or get guys who are three or four years younger than you or just came to the Lord. Pour your life into them. Who are your disciples? I did this talk in Kenya. And I went to multiple people sitting in, who are yours? I don't have anybody. Who are yours? I don't have anybody. Who are yours? I don't have anybody. <clears throat> I said, when I come back next year, I want to see your two disciples. That is my challenge for you today. Let's give these people a great round of applause.